All right, today we're going to learn how to program your make block robot to run on a remote control and autonomously. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the correct program up. After you've downloaded the make block libraries and examples, they would be under examples, make block, and you choose robot starter kit and something called dual mode starter. So dual mode starter and it explains it in here in the description, is a way you can use the remote control on your make block to control the robot. But you can also press a secret button on the remote. In this case, it's either button A or the test button, depending on what type of remote you have. When you press button A or the test button, then it automatically changes to uh, autonomous control, where you get to program it. So the... Let me show you the code, which you should not be changing at all, and then later the code you're going to be editing. So the setup, don't change any of the setup. That's just initializing any of the variables. Okay, the loop, the loop is the program that's going to run, the main program. So what the loop says is, if I receive information from the infrared remote, do certain things. If I press different buttons, one through nine, that changes the speed that the robot goes while I'm using the infrared. If I press um, the plus button or the forward button, then the robot will go forward. And if I press the minus or backward button, it's going to go backward. Press the one on the right, it's going to, the arrow on the right, it'll turn right, and so forth and so forth. If I press a certain button, then that's not one of those, then it's going to run the default autonomous code, which is called ultra car process. So that's the one I'm going to scroll down to, this ultra car process code. So it starts with void ultra car process, open parentheses, close parentheses. It has an open bracket, and at the very end, over here, it has a close bracket. All the other stuff I'm going to get rid of because we're not using their code, we're going to be writing our own code. So this is your autonomous code. So what do you write here? Well, if you want the robot to go forward, then what's the command to go forward? Well, let me scroll up. Here, in this function, the robot is taught how to go forward. So void just means there's a function coming up and I'm teaching the robot. So void forward says everything between these two brackets is teaching the robot how to go forward. How does it go forward? By turning the left motor on and having a certain speed here. And the speed is set by the infrared remote, but you could also set it manually if you want. The default sets at 190. You can try higher speeds if you want and see what happens. Okay, And then to turn backwards, similarly, except you're going to go in the opposite speed. So negative means it's going to run the motor in reverse. To turn left, you're going to turn one motor forward and one motor backward. To turn right, you're going to do the opposite. Turn one motor backward and the other motor forward. Um, and then to stop, you set you send zero to both motors, and that sets their speed to zero, and that stops them. Okay. So if I want the robot to go forward, I don't have to write motor L run and all this stuff. All I have to do is say go forward. So I'll indent it here a little bit so you can see better. And then make sure you also always put open parentheses, close parentheses, and semicolon. So this command will make the robot go forward. If I want it to go backward, I could type in backward, but that will, you would think this will cause the motor to go forward and then backward, or the car to go forward and then backward. The problem is you're going forward for a millionth of a second, then you're going backward for a millionth of a second. And then you're repeating that. So that doesn't really help you. You want to make sure before you go forward, or before you go backward, you wait. And the way to wait is to do delay. So delay in Arduino delays, stays at this line of code until it goes to the next line of code. So it's delay in milliseconds. So if I want it to go forward for one second, I would go delay a thousand. 
then I would go backward, then I would delay a thousand again, wait another second, and then I could stop. Make sure to always put the parentheses and the semicolon. So now the code will go, the robot will go forward, wait for a second, go backward, wait for a second, and then stop. And that is how you get your robot to run both autonomously and with remote control all in the same line of code.